What's up everybody? I'm out here in Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida, as you can see by the big globe behind me, and I'm going to be doing some fat guy ride testing. Let's go have some fun. Two hour wait for Hagrid's. If you'd like to compare yourself to me, I'm going to pop up a little picture here so you can see. Uh, but just so you know, have a frame of reference, I'm five foot nine, and earlier this week I weighed in at 321 pounds. Okay, I'm going to go over here and piss the ride seat on Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Now, Universal allows very limited, if any, um, filming on their, on their rides, so I'll show you what I can and I'll fill in the rest, I'll talk about it after I'm done. I don't think I'm going to be riding today because it's a 120 minute wait we just don't have that much time. But I give this ride seat a test just to see. This is the uh, sidecar part and... So here we have Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. It's a mouthful, huh? <laughs> um, on this ride, you are going to have two separate seats that you can try. The first one I tried here is going to be the sidecar. Now, it is the most restrictive of the two, even though they are pretty close in, in the fit. Um, this one, as you can see, has a little bit higher sidewalls, and it's a little bit more uh, compact around, the, around your middle. So if you're a little wider, that's what's going to give you a little bit of trouble, and I'd recommend trying the um, motorbike part if that is the case for you. Now on both of these, you're gonna see that you, as you sit down, you're gonna have this lap bar that pulls into place. And as you can see from the test seat, they do have these indicator lights out front that are red when you can't ride. And if you get them down far enough, they will turn green to indicate that you are able to fit on the ride. Now again, like I said, uh, the, the side cart one has a little bit higher sides it's a little bit more rounded so it's going to give you a little bit more trouble if you're wider and as you see from the uh, motorbike section it doesn't have as high of uh, sides to hold you in place as as restrictive as the other one is but again like i said they're pretty similar as far as fit goes um, the issue that i was running into is that i just could not get the lap bar to come down far enough on either seat and i think that's going to be the problem i don't think it's really going to matter on the width part of it um, because if you're big enough that you're not going to fit in this sidecar seat, I'm pretty sure you're going to be too big to get the, the lap bar to come down in place on either side, as was the case for me. Now, I feel like I was really close. I gave this a try at about 325 pounds, and I just was not quite able to get there. I feel that had I been just a little bit smaller, I might have been able to get into place, so I'm going to say going to be right around that 300 mark, maybe a little bit more. So that's my take on it. I hope it helps and I hope I can give it a try next time I go down this way. Um, good luck to you. Hope you fit. Have fun. Definitely try the motorbike. Okay. I'm going to try the motorbike then. Yeah, make sure you scoot over there. Okay, now stand up. Okay, stand up. Now as you're sitting, pull it down with you. Okay. No. Uh, unfortunately, uh, due to the restrictions of the ride vehicle, it's going to be okay. I was going to say, I, I had the same problem. But we waited online. We didn't know it was going to be Oh, yeah. Two hours. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be We waited. Yeah. Yeah, that would suck. Is it waiting yeah. for two hours? It's like, yeah. it's like an hour and a half. Wait, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. It's a, it's a hyphen. Well, I'm glad I checked it out because I would not be able to ride. So. 